hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for all your support thank you for interacting with my videos thank you for liking sharing and subscribing to my channel guys i'm so excited to see that you guys are interacting with my page you're liking the stuff that i'm posting like i've said before you know you guys can leave your comments below and i'm open to your feedback and your criticism so yeah without further ado guys let's get straight into it today i'll be doing a balloon garland it's gonna be an eight foot garland red black and white so just three tones um this eight foot garland is just going to be installed inside of a cafe so we're not going to be doing like a super like full garland because the space that uh they have there is very limited <clears throat> so i will be using my gaffer's tape to install to attach the um balloon garland to the wall with my 260 balloons <clears throat> so yeah right now i'm like starting to inflate the black balloons I'll be using 12 inch balloons today, um, uh, red, black, white, and I'll be also using some 18 inch whites and some 18 and 36 inch red. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Unfortunately, I did not have any black in stock, uh, being that this was a last minute request. So we're working with what we have, but I will make it full as possible so guys right now i'm inflating my black balloons um as you can see i'm inflating my balloons at different sizes these are all 12 inch balloons <clears throat> i'm just making some of them smaller and some bigger and this will you know give my garland dimension um yeah guys so right now this is how i usually do it uh take two of the duplexes and interlock them in each other and I go in with a, probably around five or six of these, sometimes even eight. I might have actually done eight on this garland only because I'm only using three colors. So what I'm planning to do is do two sets of each cluster and then I'll alternate the colors. So then it will be a total of six clusters um, that will create my garland. And then... As I go ahead and put the garland together, I will obviously fill in where I feel it's needed. Um, the bottom of my garland, I usually kind of spread it out a little bit more. But since this particular setup, uh, the space is not there, I'm going to try to, you know, spread it out as much as I can. So, yeah, guys, just keep watching as I continue. So just watch how I'm doing this. I will not be using any 260 to connect these balloons or any fishing wire or any, um, what do you call it? Like the, the cords or anything like that. Any curling ribbons, none of that stuff. This is like the fastest and easiest method for me. I'm not saying that everybody is going to be that process for them, but you know, I'm just trying to show you other ways, other techniques. If you're trying to do something fast, you know, if you're trying to be able to book more than one client per day and stuff like that, this is just like ways that you could do that. And also guys, please take note that I'm prepping at home so I don't go and sit at the venue for like two hours blowing up balloons. Occasionally, I, I, you know, I have to, but for the most part, I usually prepare my prep my garland and my mini clusters or my mini fillers ahead of time so when i go to the venue i'm literally like you know attaching it to the wall or wherever i need to attach it so let's keep watching guys <laughs>
Okay, guys, so I've completed my first three clusters. And now what you want to do is find two long stretchy neck from each cluster and tie them together to start building the garland. So this is what we're going to be doing throughout the entire process is literally just tying the necks of the balloons, tying them together like that. And, you know, that will connect your garland. And pretty much that's it. That's all you need to use to connect the garlands. Trust me, I've been doing this for four years and I've never had an issue. Please make sure, guys, this is also key. Um, when you're doing this method, I would recommend using commercial grade balloons. Do not use balloons like from Amazon or Party City or anything, you know, those type of balloons because the quality is not that great. So please, commercial grade balloons for these um design or this this technique because you want to make sure that when you tie these things together that like the necks are not going to break off or anything like that so that's key so yeah i'm gonna continue blowing up the balloons um once i'm done doing that i'll make some fillers and everything and guys under 30 minutes and we have a full garland ready to go all i have to do when i go to the, the venue is literally just attach it to the wall Everything will already be on there. I already put all my fillers on and everything. And it fits perfectly in my truck. So, yeah, that's perfect. Perfect way for to save time. Okay? All right. So, I'll circle back.
okay guys so the garland is pretty much completed for now i just uh created a few mini clusters that i'm now tying into the garland um there are several different methods that you can use to add these in you could use a 260q balloons you could just tie the necks that's kind of like what i'm doing right here with the white balloons just tying the necks um from the mini to one of the big cluster and and another method which is my favorite method is to use the rubber band i love the rubber band method because it gives it gives me a lot of flexibility i could put the balloons exactly where i want them and don't have to be fighting with it so yep that's an option so yeah i'm just tying these in i'll be making a few um clusters a uh, mini clusters for the um the black and the red area so you guys just stay tuned i'll show you that process as we continue the video
Okay, guys, so I am now um, completed. I've now completed the black fillers, and I'll be using this Advantage uh, rubber bands to attach my clusters, I mean, my minis to the garland. These rubber bands are really good, they're very stretchy. Um, I'll leave them in the link below. So you definitely want to get rubber bands that are stretchy and they're like have a nice little thickness to them. Um, so this will help you to easily slide the clusters over the other balloons. When you put these on guys, just make sure you pull the balloons. I mean, pull the string all the way to the middle. This way to ensure that it doesn't come apart.
Okay, guys, so here we are almost at the end. I'll be finishing up the garland and then I'll be heading out to the location. So I will circle back when once I get to the location. But here is another way that I fill my garland in to kind of make it look, you know, unique. I use my mini fillers and I cluster them up together into whatever size I feel I need. And then I just use the same rubber band method and attach them to my garland. But it does give your garland a nice look. It's, it's kind of like a honeycomb look. So, hey, that's another, you know, gem that I'm dropping over here. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we just got to the location. And, oh, boy, the space is a lot smaller than uh, I thought. But we're going to make it work. So, what I'll be doing today is just attaching some gaffer's tape to the wall panels and using my 260Q um, balloons to connect the garland. So I did the three point um, where I will be attaching the garland. And yeah, here is my finished look. Unfortunately, the space was so tight I could not record me putting it together, like attaching it to the wall. But here's the finished look guys. Hope you guys like it. And I hope to see you guys soon. So once again, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below. I love to read your comments and you know get your feedback on these, all these um, videos that I've been posting. So I really appreciate you guys. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified when there's a new content. So yeah, guys, for now, that is it. Have a great day. See you.